Peng or a hip block has become a very common modality to treat pain in patients having hip surgery. And while the technique is thought as easy to perform, there are efficacy and safety considerations that we describe in this video that should never be overlooked. So in this video, we will point out three steps to accomplish the Peng or the hip block, and we will point out how to avoid the potential complications. So we're gonna do a pink block or the hip block and we're going to start scanning just from the view of the femoral artery and the femoral nerve so let's find a nice image go slightly more proximal there we go excellent so here we see the femoral artery femoral nerve and the fascia iliaca now we're going to scan proximal until we start seeing anterior inferior iliac spine as a step number two. There we go, we start seeing the pelvic rim up here. Keep going up, keep going up, very good. That's anterior inferior iliac spine. It's the pelvic rim right here. So once we get to this point, we stop. So now the step number three is a slight codot tilt. There we go, to emphasize the source tendon. Placement of the needle now goes in a um, caudal direction from lateral to medial and always slight caudal direction in order to avoid the needle entering into the pelvic cavity. So let's see, that's the needle. Now we routinely, if you stop here, we routinely use nerve stimulation here because it's so easy for that needle to enter the femoral nerve. So if you get an unexpected motor response of the patella, you know that your needle angle is wrong. So continue. Okay, so now we're getting a twitch here, but that twitch is a local of the iliacus muscle, there's nothing distal here. And there you go. So now we're getting a twitch of the patella, which means that our needle has gone too close to the femoral nerve and requires readjustment. So from this angle, the that resulted in entry to the femoral nerve slightly steeper. There we go. So it's a, a proof how nerve stimulation can be useful as a safety monitoring device. Keep going, keep going, very good. Okay, so we are stopped by the bone and the twitch is absent. Now we're going to aspirate, so here's the aspiration, negative, and injection of the local anesthetic results in a nice layering alongside the pelvic rim and behind the iliosaurus tendon, which we can clearly see here. Okay, aspiration negative. We're going to inject 10 milliliters of local anesthetic after we assure that the injection pressure is low. There we go. Yeah. Inspiration negative. So let's review this one more time. Here's a few things that we routinely do. Probe cover. We always use easy probe covers, so we can do a point of care checklist because you can't image until you remove the stop sign. And the use of nerve stimulation is extremely important as we documented even in this case to detect the needle nerve contact with the femoral nerve and avoid needle or femoral nerve injury or intranerve injection. And that was it, the pain block in three steps. And if you found this video useful, be sure to subscribe to Nysora's channel and never miss the future videos on this and other topics of importance to the practice of anesthesiology. Until next video.